welcome to Breakthroughs for the Royal Hospital for Women Foundation. It is so fantastic to all be in the room together. My name is Sylvia Jeffries. I'm from Channel 9's Today Extra, and it is my absolute immense privilege to be your MC here this evening. Tonight, it is a credit to the team at The Royal, the only hospital in New South Wales dedicated solely to the health and well-being of women, mothers and babies. You here in this room this evening will be the first in Australia to hear about an extraordinary medical breakthrough. The Royal Hospital for Women will be the home of Australia's first uterine transplant. Extraordinary, giving hope to women who otherwise may not think that this is possible for them. For so long in medicine and health, we've always been focused in on quantity of life. It's always about how do we save someone's life. But, you know, we've done so much in that area, now we must focus on quality. I got to meet the first ever uterine transplant recipient. The blessing that she received on that day because she had cervical cancer was told she'd never carry a child. And I know that I'm not the only person in this room who's experienced infertility themselves. So I might have six children, but I've been pregnant nine times. And I can tell you every time I lost one of those babies, it, it was ridiculously heartbreaking. But to think that if you didn't have a uterus, you didn't have IVF, you didn't have the options out there, that it would mean that you would have to look at surrogacy and adoption to be able to carry and to birth a child into your family, to become a mother, to think that we could make that platform change. So to be a part of that foundation research over in Sweden five years ago, I just thought this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. To have this availability, to have the option to say, yes, I want it. And I think that we want to consider where we could go with all of this too. You know, we talk very much about women who've had cancer and that's a, such an important thing because they may never had had uh, the, the capacity to have a baby. We've got women who've had to have a hysterectomy because of a catastrophe. And we've also got interest from, from other groups. So women who were assigned male at birth, you know, the transgender population, we have an option for these people in the future. Being a part of this project and the clinical trial will literally change my life, change my husband's life. I, I can't wait, bring on 2023.